Hey, sixth grade. This is your language lesson for a note out here. Tuesday, April the 28th. Tuesday, April the 28th. Lesson 12 is due today, Tuesday. Lesson 13 is due on Wednesday. Let's look at lesson 13 just quickly, the new part of it, and then I will let you do it. Lesson 13. Is it a noun or a verb? So you have exactly the same word and you decide if it's used as a noun or a verb in the sentence. Now in the first part, one through eight, you see litter, litter, clock, clock. If you read both of them, you can figure out how it is used in the odd one maybe, okay? If you're not sure, is this a noun or a verb, then look at both of them and say, okay, is this action or is this what's going on here, right? So you're simply saying, saying whether or not litter is a noun or a verb in that first sentence. It gives you examples. A swallow is trying to build a nest. What is a swallow? That's a kind of bird. That's a noun, okay? Chew your food well before you swallow. Verb, right? So same word can either be a noun or a verb. You decide what it is. Number nine, I want you to do number nine. I want a Sentence with loaf as a noun and sentence with loaf as a verb. Notice, number 10, notice. Uh, so and so put a notice on the church bulletin board telling which family is to go where for visitation. A notice, a note, a noun, an announcement. Okay? That's a noun. I noticed, sixth grade, that you have been doing very good work lately. Notice. I noticed. That's a verb. All right. All right. Carefully do lesson 13, including your spelling. Now let's go back to lesson 12 and let's just go over a few things here quickly. And then I'll let you go again. Lesson 12, number three, underline the correct verb. You have indefinite pronouns as your subject in most, in some of these, not all of these. You decide you make the verb and the subject agree. Most of the shells on the beach was, were broken. What do you know about most? Most is one of those indefinite pronouns that can be either plural or singular. So how do you decide? How do you decide with those either ones? You look at the word that it replaces, the word that, uh, of the shells. Most and shells are the same thing. Okay, so it's an object of the preposition. Is shells singular or plural? Shells is plural, so in this case you need the plural verb were. Okay, most were. Number five, Mrs. Peter said, neither of these dishes are mine. What do you know about the indefinite pronoun neither? Okay, in this case, it does not matter that the object of the preposition dishes is plural. Neither is always singular. Neither one of the dishes. It's talking about one. So it's neither, and the, plur, uh, the verb would be is. And it's singular. You don't have to do any of that, but that's, yeah. Neither is. Four yards, number seven. Four yards is talking about one length of, what are we talking about? Material. Four yards is singular. Four yards is one length. Four yards is. All right. Look at 9 through 12 quickly. Number 9. I think this is this was pretty obvious. Write the sentence correctly. The girl is the painter of the picture with red hair. Well, the picture doesn't actually have red hair. The character in it might have red hair, but the girl with red hair is the painter. Number 10. What's going on number 10? The Red Cross has offices in Alexandria, Virginia, St. Louis, Missouri, and Berlin, 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 Miami, California. Never heard of that town. All right, you have that series of towns and states. You need semicolons after Virginia and after Missouri. Number 11, what's going on? Every week, we girls bake bread, clean the house, and we do the laundry. So you have that compound verb, right? Bake, 
clean and what? You should not have the we. You make this parallel. All you're doing is getting rid of the, of the we. Bake bread, clean the house, and do the laundry. Number 12, there are three different ways that you could do this. It depends whether or not you're talking about the barn that's big and red or the house that's large and red, huh? You could have the house large and red. So you could say the barn stood beside the large red house. You could do that. Or you could say the large red barn stood beside the house. Or you could say the barn, large and red, stood beside the house. Something like that. Here is the diagram. Interest fake. Here's another diagram with some different things on it. This has indefinite pronouns on it. In compound predicate nominative, the man is minister, doctor. Compound, I mean, correlated conjunction. Not only a minister, but also a doctor. Okay? That's how you do that. The man. Prepositional phrase describing man in the blue shirt is. And that is the diagram. Check that out. Now, I want you to grade. Grade. Keep track of the number wrong of the spelling. We're going to quickly do this and be done. But I want this grade uh, I want this lesson, spelling lesson only, to be graded. So put the number wrong down on the top or something like that. Number 24 is porcelain. Conch shells can be ground. Conch is a shellfish or something that can be ground to make porcelain. Koalas, number 25, get their moisture from eucalyptus leaves. 26, the outback has very few towns. It's farmland, like the plains, the outback of Australia, like the plains of the United States. Number 27, bamboo. Many Asian homes are made of bamboo. Number 28, the Ming Dynasty. 29, a boomerang. Boomerang, boomerangs, I don't care. You don't have to have the S there. 30, the platypus is one of two mammals that lays eggs. 31, the dingo house. 32, petrol. Petrol is what they call gasoline in England. You go to the, or Australia. I need to go get petrol for the car, all right? 33, the wallaby, kind of a small kangaroo-like animal, is the main food of dingoes. Fine droplets from the eucalyptus cause a haze in the air. Jade, number 35 is jade. So 32 is petrol, 33 wallaby. 34, eucalyptus, 35, jade. 36, rickshaw. I wasn't sure if they still used to do rickshaws or not. Apparently rickshaws is illegal, right? So you would have like these taxi cabs that hired these rickshaw guys, you know, and they expected them to you know, be busy making money for the, for the taxi cab. So these guys would run, walk, run, pull a cart with, it, it was a taxi. You pulled tourists around on a rickshaw, 20 to 30 miles a day. Get your exercise. Fit. 37. Typhoons. Pacific hurricanes. Uh, typhoons, or actually Asian, kind of the Asian area. Typhoon. 38 is a kangaroo. 39. Chopsticks. 40. Australia. 41. Interesting fact. Panda. The panda eats about 85 pounds of bamboo every day. Not every week, but every day. I think it's, they're eating like 12, 12 hours a day they're eating bamboo. 42, the kookaburra has a harsh crackling call. 43, workers in India stand in the paddy, the rice paddy, flooded fields where they raise rice. All right, sixth grade, goodbye.